when Margaret first came to us, she stepped out of the trailer with these wide eyes and she looked around and she was like, where am I? I reached out to the rehoming program in the United States and told them we're looking for a special companion, someone who we can rescue and give a beautiful life. The next day, they got back to me and they said, we just got an email about a 17-year-old cow who had been used in the dairy industry her whole life. And the farmer is looking for a home for her instead of sending her to slaughter. I knew as soon as I saw her picture that Margaret was it and that her and Helen were just going to be the best of friends. After spending 17 years every single day on a dairy farm, it's the same cycle of exploitation every single day for 17 years. And so to come to a place where no one expects anything from you, it's green pastures and you have your own cozy run and shed filled with all the straw and hay in the world and scratching posts on the sides of the shed and just your own little paradise was very overwhelming and confusing for her. When Margaret first came to us, she was very shy and standoffish. We understood and accepted ahead of time that she might never come around. And that's perfectly fine. That's not what we ask for when the animals come to sanctuary. She's going to live her best life still with Helen. And I remember one of the first days where Margaret was finally starting to accept us as humans into her life. Scooter brought her this pumpkin. What she did was, is he was crouched down in front of her and she just took her forehead and she put it to his and just started licking him and started loving him and showing her affection towards him. He's just the first human that Margaret accepted into her new life. After about a month of Margaret's quarantine, we were finally able to introduce her to Helen. And so we started by moving Helen to a pasture that was very close to Margaret so they could smell each other. And then one day we put our halter on and we brought her over to Margaret's pasture. Margaret! You want to meet Helen? We were so excited. Margaret saw her and just started walking over to her like slowly, very curiously. And then she got close enough that they could touch and she started licking her. And she stood there and she licked Helen for 20 minutes. It was the most beautiful moment. And honestly, from that very moment on, they are inseparable. It was an instant connection. They are side by side every day grazing together. If one of them is sitting down, the other is hovering over them. They are just so in love. Two old ladies just living their absolute best life side by side and they are the best of friends. When it's a really nice, mild spring day and there's no wind, they'll just sit there in the pasture and just gaze out into the field and you can hear the birds and they just love sitting there and doing that. It's truly like they've known each other for their entire lives.